Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari, also known as Mokujin21. Oh my god, I bumped the camera for just a second, so it wasn't a little earthquake going on. And today I have got the iMyMe Loco case, and I really like this case. I actually use the white version. Actually, I've been using this for quite a while now, even though I've got a bunch of different cases. And yeah, so this is just a quick look at this like pink, slightly pinkish red um, case. It looks, you know, pretty vibrant and nice. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick look. And yes, the camera is quite close to the phone uh, because I want you guys to have a quick look at it. So first of all, let me just remove the plastic from the top. And then I just slide this out. Slide. And let's see, what do I get? So first of all, all I need to do is just pop that off. So we've got a little plastic thing over here. Let me put this to the side so I can show you what else is in the box. Um, ooh, there you go, lift that up. Now, you're wondering, hey, hey guys, what's that? What, what is that? Guys, this is a ray absorbent pad, they call it. And that the reason why you need that is because you can slip it here in the back of your phone and it does two things. One, the first thing that it does is it blocks, you know, harmful radiation, they say, um, or at least harmful radiation from the back, I guess, because if you're facing it from the front, then it's not going to be like, yeah, radiation blocking all over the place. Um, and the second thing that it does is if you put, you can put a card in here, and if you had like an NFC card or you had a credit card you know, that has NFC, you know, or wireless payments, so let's say our Metro card, put that in, then you put this ray absorbent card behind it, and so make sure that your phone doesn't interfere, you know, with the, the NFC itself. So that's why it's quite, pretty useful, and I love this, and I love, appreciate the fact that they, they give you that. Um, so it seems like um, in Korea, yes, I My Me is a Korean brand. They do care about uh, the radiation um, and trying to reduce it. That's a little bit, every little bit helps, you know, trying to be all useful and stuff. So if you take a look inside, you can see it's got this like glossy plastic. And by the way, I'm just touching it and the paint job is incredible. I really love the quality of I My Me products. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the side. Um, first of all, again, I appreciate the fact that this case um, covers the buttons and they try to cover as much as possible. So that's where you have, you know, your um, uh, mute switch. And then on the top, it's completely open. And then on the bottom, it's completely open as well. And this is what the black looks like, nice and glossy. Now, you might be worried because, you know, when you take a look at certain phones, when they, are, when they do get glossy, it means that they do get scratched up. Now, I'm gonna try to show this. I've been using this case for quite a while, and you can hardly see the hairline scratches, although there are. Um, so the nice thing is that, you know, this does hold up pretty well, and this is, you know, the one. So I always keep this in my pocket with keys, and you can just barely see the, those scratches. So thumbs up. Actually, there you go. i got to do a little my mini thumbs up right over there. And so let's put this in the case, and then literally, oh, actually, you know what I should do? I'm sorry. Mistake, because it's got those buttons over there, I should put the volume buttons in first, and then I just pop it down. And that's it, shazam. So first of all, let's talk about, you know, whether this has the lay on the table design. No, it does not, mesdames and messieurs. Actually, um, it, it, it looks like, and let me just try to get close into this. I should give it, give it at that angle right over there. So if you take a look at the edge, it looks like it's just like a hairline, or maybe almost, you know what, it is exactly to the edge of the screen, um, and then you know, there's a little gap over there. So if you're gonna, you're gonna definitely need a screen protector again. I recommend Spigen's um, Glass T, I love it. It's a fantastic, you know, looking um, uh, screen glass protector because it actually feels like a glass. In terms of the grip, yes, this feels fantastic to hold in the hand. I love it, it's awesome. Um, it does have a big gap over here, it's pretty huge. Um, and it's actually looks like it's it's deep too. Now the interesting thing is because it's got that curve on the back, um, you know, you might at first glance you might feel like, hey, but that looks like it's going to add significant um, thickness to it. Because it's curved, you don't feel like it's thick. And actually, I love the curvature. I mean, I didn't really like you know the sharp edges, you know, um, that the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 5 uh, went with, and so I prefer the curved edges. Um, so it feels really nice. And by the way, if you're interested in the iPhone 5C. Actually, I think this kind of gives it a similar look, you know what I mean? So maybe this is a solution to have the iPhone 5C look, you know, with your um, iPhone 5 a little bit early. Um, taking a look at the top, that's how it's open. And on, on the sides, um, you might think that because these are plastic little bits that you something to be concerned about. No, there's nothing to be worried about. Um, I've been using it, as I mentioned, you know, for um, quite a while now. I think it's over like a month and a half now. And they, they have a great spring to it. and clicks really well and then if I look at the bottom that's how it's nice and open now honestly do I recommend this yes I do recommend 
the I Am I Me case because um, I've had quite a long time, you know, to a uh, chance to, to get to play with this um, uh, case for a while. And so that was a quick look. Thank you very much.